Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Today, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to go over yet. I'm drawing my sketchbook, and I just decided to record it. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I draw it just to kind of let off steam. I also do uh, kind of get stressed, though, from art, let's be honest. If you got to do art as a job, it kind of becomes stressful at some point. So, yeah. But And then I draw on my own in my sketchbook to kind of let off steam. It's weird, because I draw to build up stress, and I draw to let go of stress, you know? So um, right now this is a sketchbook session and uh, I'll label the video after I know what I'm drawing. I actually don't know what I'm drawing yet. I'm just kind of drawing shapes here. Um, I know it's going to be a head of some kind. I'm not sure if I want to make it organic or not, or maybe a combination of organic. And there's always those questions in your head, you know, like, am I doing the same thing over and over again? Sometimes I definitely do that, guys. But I guess we all kind of do at some point. I want it to be skull-like or something. Kind of scratch that itch. That skull itch. I definitely have a skull itch, that's for sure. I, uh, and I don't mean dandruff. I mean, like, I love drawing skulls. Love it. Love drawing skulls. Um, thinking maybe like a skull with a, maybe like a brain exposed, something like that. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not really sure it's going to be like a concept or anything. I think it's thinking more like just a drawing, maybe like a tattoo drawing or something. Bringing in, you know, like tattoos tend to, and I love tattoos, don't get me wrong, but tattoos tend to bring in every corny element, right? You know, like every badass element. But it's corny, but like in an awesome way. I don't know how to say it skulls and cards and eight balls and stuff like that. I already started committing right here. So look at the camera, see if it's uh see if it's okay. Sometimes I don't know man. I'm I'm recording and I'm not really sure, you know, like it's totally in the wrong place or something the whole time. That really bugs me when I do that. Um, you know, normally I'd plan out drawings, like at least have an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm not, I don't really have any idea what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe this is going to be made of uh, machinery. You know, like the skull made of machinery, that might be cool. Because then there has to be kind of a layer. It's really up to you how intricate you want to make drawings, you know what I mean? Sometimes, I don't know if you ever have this issue too, sometimes it's just a, too small of a drawing. You really, it's kind of hard to get in there. Especially when you draw with pencil. I mean, luckily I got a pen right now, but sometimes when you draw with pencil, it's almost impossible to do certain details. You need to blow it up a little bit and get some detail in there. Trying to even this out to the other side a little bit, trying to eyeball it. Not really sure what I want on the inside yet. Thinking like maybe like water, like an aquarium. Oh my god, did I just move something? I moved it a little bit. Can you see that? Yeah. Alright. Sorry about that. Hmm. So where would that attach? Down here, maybe? Uh, the disc right there. Why would that disc be there? I don't know. Why would that disc be there? Continue to draw. Been neglecting this channel lately, which is too bad. I'm gonna. There's gonna be a new wave of drawings pretty soon because this is probably m the most relaxing thing I can do, honestly, is draw like this 
and uh, might as well record it, right? Don't want everything to be too complicated. There's got to be like areas of tension and then there's areas of release, you know, there's going to like wide out area. But um, you don't want to make everything like it, like little tiny tiny wires everywhere. That's just not good design, you know. Um, you have to kind of figure out where to let the tension loose, you know. Sorry, I say the word you know a lot. He's got one middle tooth, which is always the uh, one middle tooth is always that's like a rule back when I did caricature drawing. Never do that middle tooth, but I'm not doing caricature drawing, so. Hmm. I feel like I'm stuck. Not really stuck, but it's kind of stuck deciding, you know. It's like, what what move should I make? How much style do you throw into tech? You know? That's a question I ask myself a lot. I'll see some artists throwing cool little shader lines like that. I kind of like that. I don't know. It doesn't look like a shader line, it looks like another structure. It's hard to not make it look like another structure, actually. But, um... Trying to figure out where how to pull my uh, where to pull my line weight heavier than not. All right, taking a better look at it. Also, got to start pulling out some darks because. It's getting a little mixed up right now. I want to pull out some dark shapes to kind of balance it out. You got you got to have. Um, I think the reason for darks is a couple of reasons. This is just my opinion. I think the reasons for darks are so that the audience knows where to look. It makes the form look more solid. You know what I mean? It kind of grounds the image to the paper. You know, this gravity has this gravitas to it. That might all just be you know. Nonsense, but <laughs> that's what I think. I think uh, it definitely makes things clearer to clearer to look at. Really, I guess that would be really the ultimate answer. And then you got to be careful because it starts to become a mess. That's when you start panicking as an artist. So you have to figure out. Okay, look at that standard control. Putting a structure around the eye there. Let me do a speed up real quick and then I'll talk about what I did. <laughs> 